Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're doing yet another edition of the bi-weekly wishlist or washout. If you're new to the channel or if you're not seen the series before, what I do is every other Wednesday go through all the new makeup releases that I see on Instagram, and I decide if I'm going to be adding anything to my wishlist or if everything's a total wash out. I have quite a few updates. Typically at the beginning of these videos, I show new products that I've picked up or updates, and then we actually get into the new products and T today we got a lot of new products. <laughs> First, I am uh, so excited. I I got it. I got the Circle Loco palette and I'm actually wearing it on my eyes today. Um, I did film, so I've done two looks with this so far. I did film both of those. I think I'm going to be doing like a three looks, one palette with this. Probably coming out next week. I got to see my schedule, is, my YouTube schedule is kind of packed already. Um, but let me know if there's any other, like any other things you want to see. I kind of really want to do um, a palette, not bingo. Uh, roulette with this like where you pick random shades and do a look because I think this would be a perfect palette for that but so far it's gorgeous it swatches gorgeous the, the shades are just beautiful they're just I can't get over it so I will be having a full review up soon um I think the three looks on palette is going to be separate from the full review but but we'll see how it works out and how much time I spend on that video Next, I picked up the e.l.f. and Chipotle collab. I actually just had my first impressions video on this palette and the lip gloss go up this past Sunday. So if you missed that, I'll throw it up on the cards. I've used it a couple of times since then. I am going to do a full review video eventually because I do want to thoroughly test this out and then give you guys my final thoughts. But I'm just like delighted. I think that's the word delighted by this. It's so cute. I really like the shades and the lip gloss is very cute too. So with my Circle Loco order, I ordered from Sephora online, I also got this little mini lipstick. I love mini lipsticks. This is from Rare Beauty. So this is actually the first Rare Beauty product I'm trying out. And this is the Lip Souffle Matte Lip Cream in the shade Fearless. So that's a really, really pretty color. And I just dropped it. I haven't used it yet, but I can't wait to try it out and see how it looks. All right, next, I actually was finally able to pick up the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream in my shade. I'm wearing it today. A lot better of a shade match. This is in the shade 120N, and it just it just looks beautiful. I, I can't get over how much I love this CC Cream. I have to say, though, it's I bought this one at a CVS because I saw it there, like, in stock. It was more expensive than, I think, the original one I got at Target. This is $18. I don't remember spending that much the first time I bought this, so, I mean, it's a bit steep but I do like it, so mm, we'll see. While I picked up the correct shade of the CC cream, I also picked this up. So I, this is the Hydrating Camo Concealer. I tried the original Camo Concealer and it was trash. I hated it. It's because I have really dry under eyes. And since there was a hydrating version out there, since I had such a bad experience with you know, e.l.f. base product kind of as a whole. I never picked this up, but now that I love that Camo CC cream so much, and because I also wasn't able to get a hold of the uh, the Tarte Creamy Concealer, I'll tell you about that in a minute, but I really wanted to try this out. So I picked this up and I got the shade Fair Warm, which I think is a really good shade match and I am wearing it under my eyes today. Okay, speaking of not being able to get the Tarte, so I did my Ulta 21 Days of Beauty live stream a little while ago. If you missed it, I'll throw it up in the cards. And during that live stream, I talked about like the one day I would probably place an order is when the Tarte creamy the is it the creamy I think it's called the creamy um oh my god what's it called shape tape there we go the creamy Tarte shape tape uh that day um so I went onto the website it took me nearly an hour just to log into my account yeah and after all of that I thought I was still platinum I was pretty sure I was still platinum either there was a glitch or I guess I lost my platinum status in the last couple of weeks or so because I was no longer platinum and I couldn't get the sale price on the creamy concealer and I wasn't about to spend $27 on a Tarte concealer that I may or may not like considering especially how much I hate the original Shape Tape concealer. So I just, I didn't do that. Um, I still have products I want to pick up from Ulta but I think I'm going to wait until after the 21 Days of Beauty quite honestly to place my order because nothing I want is on sale uh, during the 21 days, so I'm, I'm just gonna hold off, which is a, a little disappointing. Last and certainly not least, I just want to highlight a few palettes that my good friend Bougie Brie sent me. I unboxed this huge package she sent me on my Instagram. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, here it is. Make sure you follow me. I've been doing daily stories, looks, pen that palette updates, regular palette updates, shopping, and part of it was unboxing the big palette box that Brie sent me. I don't have time to go through all of the palettes here because it was a lot. It was a lot of palettes and I really appreciate it. Um, but I wanted to just show you like some of the top ones that I'm most excited about. Um, so first I got this Jouer Ultra Foil eyeshadow palette and it's just 
these beautiful foil shades. Look how gorgeous that is. Next, she sent me the Glam Light Viva Taco palette. How cute is this? That is just, oh, I'm gonna drop it. It's just the cutest thing I've ever seen and I can't wait to dig into these greens because you know me. <laughs> oh my God, it's so cute. Next, this is the Take Me to Santorini palette, which this has a gorgeous color store. Look at that. That is summer. That is summer in a palette. And we're getting there. I mean, it's the first day of spring, or it was the first day of spring, so I'm hoping the weather starts warming up a little bit, but not too much. I don't even really like summer, but I like summer colors. Let's, yes. Summer colors in my air-conditioned apartment. Let's, let's keep it that way. Next, this is a palette I wanted a while ago, but then like never picked up. She sent me the Ace Beauté Vintage Dawn palette. Look at these grungy tones. They're gorgeous, they're gorgeous. Oh my God, I love this so much. Next, she sent me this adorable little Ciate London palette. What is it called? This is the Astro Lights Drool Jeweled palette. It is so pretty. It's very like soft and pink and really, really romantic. It's so cute. So like, I haven't dug into this one yet. This one actually had a casualty of shipping. I had to repress this shade, but it came out nice and everything else is good. So I can't wait to use this one. I'm also getting like, you know, early Michelle Fawn vibes from this. Next, she sent me one of the funniest palettes <laughs> I've ever seen. And I'm pretty sure I roasted this a while ago. <laughs> roasted. This is the Spicy Betch palette <laughs> from Tarte. And I gotta say, you know, they are really pretty shades. Looks kind of similar to what I'm wearing on my eyes today. I probably should have used this with the Natasha palette, but I can't wait to dig in here. And last, and certainly not least, she sent me a whole ass Viseart palette. <laughs> this is the warm uh, matte palette and just, mm, look at it. That is, I gotta say, that is very satisfying. It's a very satisfying looking palette. <laughs> so I also can't wait to dig in and try these out. Okay, so that's everything for updates. Let me scoot on over, put these palettes back away and let's jump into the new makeup releases. I got tagged in a couple of products. So the first one is this palette from Tarte. I feel like, oh, Tarte. This, I'm pretty sure there was a palette that looked just like this that came out when Sephora first did like their clean makeup section, right? Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, this looks, I mean, it looks very familiar, to be honest. Um, I don't like, I don't like the shape of the pants. I don't like the wasted space. I, I don't like the white packaging. I really, is there anything about this I do like? The two green shades. <laughs> Ooh, and that's it. Huh. And it's called the bal balance. I said balance. It call, it's called the balance your chakra. Okay, sure, sure. I also got tagged in this. So Charlotte Tilbury is coming out with a new lipstick. I don't know if it's a new, I haven't, I didn't look this up. So we might see it on Treadmoo, but I don't know if it's a new lipstick formula or just a new shade. It's just called a new nude icon. So I guess they're getting rid of Pillow Talk. Pillow Talk is getting replaced, I guess. Anyway, I still, so I've tried a lot of Charlotte Tilbury products at this point eyeshadows, the foundation, no, yes, I just tried the foundation, foundation, the flawless filter, the uh, really not worth it bronzer and highlight duo, setting sprays. I could probably do a video just about Charlotte Tilbury overall. But anyway, I, that being said, I've never, I still have not tried a lipstick and I feel like that's what they're most well known for. So part of me wants to try it out and then part of me looks at their track record and I'm just like, mm, is it worth it? I don't know, maybe during the Sephora sale, because there is a Sephora sale coming up, and there is actually, I've got a, quite a few things on my mind that I want to pick up during that sale, so maybe, maybe. Oh, I'm scrolling through my photos, because whenever anyone tags me in something, I screenshot it so I can keep it for the video, and I just found this cute picture of Rex right before I gave him a treat. He looks very concerned. Okay, so Sigma, a brand I haven't really talked about in kind of a hot minute, came out with a new deluxe blending brush set. Now, I think E25, are these all pretty much the same brushes or all are these new brushes? Nine essential brushes. I think they might be new. E25, no, I think that's the same, right? These are, are they just different packaging? I don't know, but I do think 122 for that set is a, it's a, it's a bit much. It is a bit much. I've got a big random collection of brushes now that I've been doing makeup for several years. And so I've got like 
my favorites. Most, I gotta say, a good amount of them are Sigma. So I have to say, I do like their eye brushes. I think their eye brushes are long lasting and good. Their face brushes, I, and they're, I'm noticing that as I've had them for longer, they're kind of hit or miss now. Um, so I don't know. Would you guys be interested in seeing a video about like my current like eyeshadow brush and like makeup brush collection and what I use every day? Because I do have like a set. It's like 10 eyeshadow brushes and like probably 10 face brushes that I use daily. And I could talk about those. I don't know if you'd be interested in seeing that though. Anyway, back to the Sigma. So these brushes, I don't think they're new. Uh, I think it's just a new set. Um and that they're just packaging them all together to sell in, in another set. So uh, nothing I am super excited about. Ooh, okay, so Holo Taco released, I'm actually wearing Holo Taco on my nails, released some new cream, cremes, cremes, they're called cremes, some new creme polishes, and I want all of them. I want the green, I want the yellow, and I want the gray. I do know that these are not limited edition, which is good. I, I really like Holo Taco as a brand because they are very clear in communicating which ones are limited edition, which is which ones are going to be part of their actual collection, you know, long term. And they're really good about communicating that right before like they release the product. So they could say, hey, you know, these, pol these polishes are going to be permanent. They're going to be part of our collection forever. So if you don't get them here, no harm, no foul. And they did that for these. And I know I'm going to buy them. I love Holo Taco nail polishes. I have a full like large collection of them now. Now. So I will be getting them at some point. I just didn't feel the need to rush and get them also because I just placed a hollow taco order So I might have a hollow taco problem <laughs> But I really like the nail polishes um, and I know that I, I just placed another hollow taco order like a week or two ago And I just got those polishes in I'm actually wearing so I'm wearing the one coat of black that I love and I'm wearing the the gold flaky hollow taco which is like my favorite actual top coat from them is the flaky hollow taco. It's so pretty so I know I'm gonna buy these. I just, I'm not in any rush to do so because I've got faith in the brand and their ability to restock. Unlike ColourPop. Okay, so I, I already talked bad about this release from Too Faced, the teddy bear collection. It's trash. But I just wanted to point out specifically, this is how they're swatching the bronzer. It looks, I mean, I guess it's supposed to be a glowy bronzer. This is how they're swatching it. It looks like a rash on these people. That's a very unfortunate like swatch placement. Why don't you just show me their faces with the bronzer on it? How about we do that? <laughs> okay, so um, I was actually asked to talk about the Jaclyn lipstick release on Instagram, but to be honest, both Hannah from Smoky Glow and another channel that I really adore, Abby from Abby Williamson, they both did amazing videos that basically just took the words out of my mouth about how Jaclyn is responding to her failures of her last release and trying to like spin it. It's very mlm -y now, like hashtag girl boss. I, I rose above the ashes like a phoenix, but like you're the one that set the fire and then did nothing to stop it. And then you laid low for a year and then just came back with new pro It's, I'm gonna get too heated. Uh, it's trash from a trash brand and like Jeffree Star and like the other trash people that I'm actually hoping are legitimately fading into obscurity at this point, we should just leave her alone. We should leave her in the past. And that includes, you know, smaller YouTubers that are buying her products just for clicks on videos. Like, come on, guys. I know asking people to have morals over clicks and money and attention is a bit much, but can we not have just like a shred, just a little shred of, of um, one moral <laughs> decency? I don't know. All right, so Morphe is coming out with another collab because they're Morphe. That's what they do. Obviously, the packaging is actually really cute. I do love like the pinky, purpley kind of packaging. Um, the palette's too big. I don't need it. The is that a bronzer? Yeah, so it's a palette. It's a luminous bronzer, uh, a face and body illuminator. It looks like a liquid like highlighter, um, a lip duo, and then a lip gloss kit. Yeah. I can get all of this from other brands and just not interested. Also, not a huge fan of Morphe. Another week, another ColourPop release, which it's called the Limoncello, Lemoncello collection. Am I the only one who thinks of Lemoncello and just thinks of that scent from Bath and Body Works? And just, it just makes me think of like kitchen, like I'm cleaning the kitchen. And, you know, for something called the Limoncello palette, there's only one yellow in it. I have to admit, the brushes look cute. They do have some, like, a face brush and some eye brushes, but I've tried ColourPop, um, 
brushes before and they're just kind of meh. I've got like one brush that I still use from like the, the kit and a few of them that I picked up, but overall the brushes are just meh. So I know I would only be buying that for display and I clearly already have things for display. So yeah, obviously not picking this up because I'm not picking up anything else from ColourPop, but I don't know. I'm just really curious as to when the ColourPop, I think I say this every week, but when is the ColourPop bubble going to burst? How long can they keep doing this? Do we, do we want to start taking bets? Do you think it's going to be like a year longer? I don't know. Oh, okay. This looks really pretty. Um, so this is from Give Me Glow Cosmetics. This is the Pastel Dreams palette. Um, I kind of wish there was just a better picture of just the whole palette, but oh boy, is that pretty. I think I have a decent amount of these shades though in one of my Kylie palettes. The, is it the Calm Before the Storm palette? That's pretty pastel-y. Um, so I probably don't need this, but it does look really pretty. And I'm just like, I'm now drawn towards like those spring colors, you know, spring, summer. Hopefully it's coming soon. Oh my God, that's so cute. Okay. So this is from Trixie Cosmetics and there's, look at this blush palette. This is the Back to the Fuchsia blush palette. Oh my God. That is the cutest thing I've ever seen. It's $28, so it's a bit steep. Mm, but that looks so cute. Uh, I mean, I've never bought anything from Trixie Cosmetics, so I doubt I'm gonna pick this up. But that blush palette with like that silvery kind of shade, it's just like, it's calling to me. I don't know why, I don't know why. So Dior came out with a bronzer and they only have um, one, two, three, five shades. Am I, am I count? Yes, that is correct. There's only four. There's only four sh- no, wait. Oh, these swatches are weird. What the fuck? I think there's- how many shades are there? I mean, they're only showing me five in this picture. And the swatches just look odd. Um, and the swatches don't even look that deep. And yeah, come on, you're Dior. Do better. Oh my god, am I the only person who like hates pina coladas? I just don't like- I don't like coconut. Oh, okay. So, um... Laneige came out with a new, I guess, flavor of their lip treatment balm, and it's the pina colada or coconut one. Ugh. I literally just went ugh when I saw it because I can't. I have found a really great dupe for their lip sleeping mask, though, and it's from Shop Miss A, and I've been using it every night ever since I got it. And actually, my boyfriend uh, one day told me, wow, your lips are like really soft and nice. And I was like, oh my god, lip sleeping mask. It's not called that from Shot Miss A. I'm gonna talk about it in my follow-up from the haul video that I did a while ago, but uh, that is great. And that was a dollar. So I'm never gonna spend Laneige money again because you don't need to. <laughs> but especially not on this one. The scent would just make me like gag. I can't, I don't, I can't do coconut. But I, I hear some, some people might say, but Monica, you're Puerto Rican. You like Coquito that has coconut in it. Yes, but it has a lot more alcohol in it than, than coconut. At least the way I make it. <laughs> <laughs> so stupid oh sol de janeiro came out with a new i guess scent um for a body cream this is the bom dia bright body cream it is scented black amber plum vanilla woods jasmine bloom oh i, I kind of want to get a sample of it i doubt i would buy it like those lotions the boom boom cream smells amazing but it's so expensive it's just not it's not worth it. I tried the um, shower, the body shower gel. That's what it's called. I tried the shower gel of the same scent to see if I could get that scent without spending, you know, $50 on a lotion. And the shower gel was trash. And like the scent barely, it barely smelled like it. So I'm not willing to spend, you know, money on this. But if I can get a free sample or like a little Sephora reward just so I can smell the scent, I'd be willing to try that out. <laughs> Oh, so this is kind of unique. So Scandinavia came out with a new spray, but it's not a setting spray this time. It's a mask, mask knee control spray. Um, so it works to prevent breakouts under your mask, which I'm sure that'd be very useful for people who have to work uh, with the mask on all day, like my boyfriend, even though his skin is still somehow perfect and I'm not angry about it at all. Anyway. Um, I think it'd be really good for people who have to wear a mask like that every day. Because I remember I, as I was wearing my mask more often, since I go outside daily now and not just once a week. <laughs> um, so 
I was able to get a, a handle on my breakouts, but when I was first wearing a mask a lot, I was getting a lot of breakouts in the mask area. So if you're still struggling with that, I think this could help. Um, I do like the Scandinavia setting sprays. They're basically the same as the Urban Decay, but the Urban Decay is like $10 more per bottle. So if you were interested in the Urban Decay, I would say pick up the Scandinavia. Always wait for a sale. They have a lot of sales where you can get um, like 20% off and then they give you a free mini bottle spray. Like they do a lot of great sales on their website. So I'd wait for a sale and then pick this up. Maybe the original setting spray too. Oh my God, these blushes are so pretty. I don't even see, oh, they're only $9. Where the hell do I get these? These are from Moira Cosmetics and they're ombre blushes and they look absolutely stunning. Dunning. Oh my, oh my god, I want all of these. I want every single one of these blushes, guys. Every single one. Oh, ooh, ooh, they're so pretty. Where do I get it? Where do I get it? I don't know where to get it, but I, I if I find it, I might pick these up because they're only $9 and they look absolutely stunning. Has anyone tried anything from Moira Cosmetics or these blushes in particular? Because I, I want all of them. Okay, so Dior is coming out with individual eyeshadows in the biggest, most clunky packaging. Yeah, I could only see this working, like, on runways or with, with someone who only literally does one shade all over the lid and that's it. AKA not me, so <laughs> no thank you. Especially $30 a piece. $30 a piece. Okay, so I'm gonna finish today while talking about the announcement of the new line from Fenty. So Fenty has Fenty Beauty, Fenty Skin, and now there's going to be Fenty Hair. Now I'm against a lot of like the skincare brands that are coming out, like celebrities are coming out with. I personally think makeup and skincare should be fairly separate and like skincare should be left to like dermatologists, people who understand skincare and not just something you can throw out. Cause you could throw out like makeup products. You probably, sh you shouldn't, you really shouldn't, but you can throw out makeup products like quickly because for the most part, you're wearing them on your on top of the skin. Skincare like goes into your skin. Sometimes you have to in ingest different things. Um, so I'm just not a, I'm not really for celebrity or skin skincare brands that aren't really like just skincare. All that out of the way. The fact that Fenty is coming out with a hair care brand, I'm kind of intrigued. Like I want to see what kind of products they're gonna be. Is there gonna be a co-wash? Are there gonna be any products? Like is there gonna be a gel? Because I kind of really want to try a gel. Like I'm kind of intrigued here because again it's more topical and I'm I don't know like for me like skincare is such a different like bracket for like people to kind of be jumping on the bandwagon for and coming out with products for when you're clearly not qualified to do those kind of products. Whereas hair it's more like okay you have your own experience with your hair, so you could probably formulate products that work best for your hair. Anyway, that's just kind of how I see it. I'm intrigued. I really want to see what product she's going to come out with and how much they're going to be. Because <laughs> ever since the Diva Curl scandal a while ago, I've not let a Diva Curl product touch my hair and my scalp has been so much better for it. If you missed the whole debacle, I did a live stream of Wuchinche chat about it. I'll throw that up in the cards. But ever since then, I haven't had like like a treat me like higher end kind of hair care brand, you know, because Diva Curl was expensive. So I'm kind of intrigued to see if maybe Fenty is going to slide into like the spot where Diva Curl used to be like top dog. Because Diva Curl has really gone down ever since that debacle a year ago. Or was it over a year ago now? Whoa. <laughs> Does anyone else just like forget 2020 was a year? Like I keep saying, oh, a year ago, but by a year ago, I mean 2019 and not 2020. Like, I think we just collectively lost a year. So that's everything for this week's Be Wow. If there's anything I missed, if there's anything you want me to talk about in the next Be Wow, make sure you follow me on Instagram and tag me, send me a message, and I will collect everything to talk about in the next edition of the Be Wow. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know down below what you thought about all of these new products, and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.